Hey everyone, welcome back to another design tutorial in Adobe XD and today we will be designing these cool uh, buttons or icons in Adobe XD and um, using masks and other tricks that are very useful and I think it will really help you out. So without further ado, let's just get started. To start off, I will create a very simple artboard which will be the web 1920 by 1080 artboard um, and I'll be doing these icons one by one so that you can follow along. So for the first icon I already have a component saved I will put this arrow in between here and uh, behind this I will create a ellipse and um, this ellipse I will give this blue color which I've already saved and I will be giving this XD file down in the description so that you guys can download it and follow along and I would put place it behind this arrow of course place it just like this I'll make this circle slightly smaller as well there you go and um, now comes the slightly tricky part we will create three more circles one we will create three more circles one two and three and each circle we will be giving a border of a white border uh, so for that what we'll do is say for the first circle we will do 20 pixels of border uh, as simple as that and we'll change this border to a white just like that and in the second circle what we're going to do is give the border and here we'll make it say um, we'll double that or, or you know what I'll give it 50 pixels and make this white as well and on the third circle we'll give uh, another white border and uh, make sure this is um, say 80 so it's much bigger than all of these and I will place the each of these one on top of the other right here just like this and uh, until it covers this circle just like this so if I go to the panel right here which shows my layers I I can see these three ellipses on top and one ellipse at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is just select all three of these and what I'm going to do is group them. And I will create another circle, another circle which is more or less the same size as the circle at the bottom. So these circles have the width of um, 545 so or diameter of 545 so I'm gonna do this is 545 same as these circles and place them in the center of these circles just like that and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all these elements that we have here and so all these elements are selected including the ellipse on top and I'm gonna say command shift M or control shift M to mask all of these together and now comes a slightly trickier part is I'll have to select all these ellipses which I had grouped earlier and I'll have to make sure that the the topmost is the absolute biggest circle so just make it like a really big circle just like this and place it in the center just like so perfect and I'll go again and the the one beneath this has to be well I won't say the biggest uh, it should be slightly smaller than the one on top and make sure that this circle is on top of the bottommost circle which is the largest and the other circle which is uh, I'll increase the size of this as well and I'll place it at the top just like that and you know I'll make sure that this is not that big so just slightly bigger than the original circle and as you can see we have this kind of a dartboard kind of a design which has created but it's inside a mask so you can't really see these right or you can't even touch them out here now we will duplicate this artboard just select this artboard and say command D or control D on your keyboard and the next step is to make all these circles smaller so first what we'll do is select the topmost circle which is the smallest and make this much much smaller just like this and um, place it in the center just like that 
and I'll do the same for the second circle right here something like that and for the last circle as well but for the last circle make sure that everything is now just white just like this right and this blue should also be large so what we'll do is go back to this circle we will make sure that the circle which is inside the blue circle is larger that's the last step that we have to do and make make sure that this is the largest element out of all these and place it in the center perfect you don't really have to make uh, much edits in the second one and now in the second one this circle which is basically the ellipse 11 which was super big will make this super small so that it hides behind all of these elements just like this and make sure that this circle on top the one with the white border is small enough to have this white you know it, it makes everything look white right here and that is it and with the arrow also we will do one thing is we'll select the arrow which is again a component so it will be outlined as a green element we'll just increase the size just like that and uh, make sure that is placed in the center perfect and that is all that we needed to do for this first design uh, one last step is to prototype it so if I go to prototype mode here I click on this circle and I move this arrow to the second artboard right here uh, and on the right I will make some changes make sure that tap trigger is on uh, action is set to auto animate uh, this is uh, ease out is fine and I want say about two seconds right so and fix position when scroll you know we're not scrolling here but i just turn that on just for safety and let's play this right here so if i click on this see how this warps in just like that if i reduce the animation timing however it'll look even better so if i say one second and if i click on this see how it comes up and if i want it to come back i'll just click on this artboard and let this be a time trigger and let this be one second that's it so if I click on this the animation happens and it comes back just like that how cool is that you can refine it you can change the animation a little bit based on your liking or taste and uh, you can make it even better by the way hit me up at LinkedIn or Twitter uh, any platform and whenever you create a design based on what I teach you guys and I'll surely give you a shout out okay so for the second design what we will need is a complex icon which I already have this is a basic a porcher icon and I'll just ungroup this uh, component there you go and I'll just group this so now this complex uh, icon has been put in you can I've downloaded this from Feather Icons, if I can just quickly show you. Feather Icons is a cool open source library for icons. You can just pick up and get started. That's pretty cool. Uh, now here what we're going to do is we're going to create circles. And we're going to create small tiny circles right here, just like this. And we're going to put one on each of these axes, right? So wherever both of these meet, we're going to put one each, just like that and there you go and the last one we'll place it here perfect now that we have all of these aligned let me just line them properly make sure they're aligned based on each other and that is uh, the entire trick now what we'll do is select all of these little circles and what I'm gonna do is on the right panel here we have an add element icon here so what I'm gonna do is click on this add and now uh, Adobe XD will treat it as one element. So you, if you expand it, the animation will happen simultaneously. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna reduce the opacity of these circles. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the icon as well as these circles, which is now one element. And I'll say Command Shift M or Control Shift M to mask this. Now what we have here uh, are these super small circles to Make sure that something like that doesn't exist. We'll just um, reduce the opacity right here first, right? Or what we'll do is reduce the opacity 
in the last step, no issues. So we'll just duplicate this artboard by clicking Command D or Control D. And uh, once I've done this, now I will have to do a little bit of masking trick, right? So first of all, double click on one circle here first and make sure that it increases in size just like this and make sure it is covering certain inner parts as well. Now the second circle what I'm going to do is create it much bigger than the first. That is how a, you know, a delayed transition can happen in Adobe XD. And that is what I'm going to do with each one of these circles. Just increase it in size and make sure that the next circle is larger than this first one. And if you have any trouble selecting these, you can select this from the layers panel itself. So for example, if I want to select 16, I'll select this and increase the size just like that. And even if it's overlapping, don't worry, no issues. It'll still uh, contribute to the effect. So make sure that each one is quite big as compared to the previous uh, circle. So just make sure that you have like a bunch of large circles it can be as, as large as you want yeah just like that so now that we have different uh, size circles the animation is done all we need to do now is prototype this so if I click anywhere here and I move the arrow to the second artboard and I say how about 2.5 seconds and I say auto animate should always be on for these effects to take place and if I play this now look at how the magic appears. See how each edge, uh, it, it kind of warps into each edge or each part of the circle uh, at different times. That is how the effect is created. So if you want to make it a little more intricate, you can make it three seconds or four seconds, depending on your liking. And you can even work on this with like complex uh, text or illustrations as well. And this is like a cool trick just to make the second element much more larger and you will have um, you know like a mask effect uh, on all edges at a different time now for the last design we'll create a last uh, design we'll create another artboard and the last design is also very simple based on the masking effect as well and um, if i create a rectangle oops this is an ellipse <laughs> if i create a rectangle just like this one and I'll place this in the center just like that and I will make sure that the border radius is about 100 you know just a circular or a rounded border radius and I've already saved the color right here so again if you want these uh, elements I've given the Adobe XD file down in, down in the description so you can at any point of time just you know download it and follow along so make sure this is you know maybe a little more 200 fine and um, what I'm going to do is duplicate this and just put it over each other and I'll select both by dragging out and I'll say command shift M or control shift M to mask it now the one inside if you if I go to the last panel there's one inside here what I will be doing here is which is not the mask so rectangle 11 is the mask and I'll just name it the mask right just like that and I'll choose the rectangle inside the mask and make it much uh, longer. So uh, how about um, how about 3000? 3, 3000 might be a little too big though, but 3000, um, you know, we'll just experiment it. And I'll just place it just like that, maybe more, you know, 3500. Whatever you want based on your liking or based on how much delay you want, the longer the strip is the delayed the more delayed the animation that we're working on will work and what I'm going to do is create a circle a white circle no bordered and about 45 pix 45 percent in opacity and I will say command X or control X to cut it and inside this mask I'll just place it so as you can see inside this mask group you have this ellipse inside and I'll put it on uh, just below the edge somewhere here. Perfect. Don't put it too far away though. And inside here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place first of all this arrow, which indicates a download uh, button, uh, like a download icon. And I'll place it right here. And in the center, I'll place say, get it. 
and make sure this get it is actually white make sure that get it is big too perfect and now that we have this button ready to go I can change the font no no worries about that Gotham Gotham it is and I'll place it in the center just like that I group both of these together and again I'm gonna place it inside this mask group itself now the effect is more or less ready I'll say command D or control D to duplicate this artboard and in the second artboard I'll just shift this rectangle so in here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the text to got it <laughs> and I'll make this a dark green or maybe you know even light green just change the text hopefully I can change it and change it to this green and maybe make it slightly darker just like this and um, just to showcase that it's more or less disabled now and I'll make this icon this dark as well and uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm also going to make the ripple effect which I had given earlier I have a video to show the material ripple effect the material design ripple effect and you can take a look at that if you like and I'll make this circle really large really really large because what I want to do is make sure that this circle expands really quick so that we get that quick ripple effect and then this comes in so um, I'm gonna try this try prototyping this and I will uh, move this arrow to the second ad board ease out and say about two seconds mm, one second is better so let's try this out if I click on this see how this ripples but one thing I can't really do here is see the shift so make sure that this rectangle goes out of bounds here and this circle is not really white it's more or less green perfect and I'll try this once again Oops. that is simple animation and it's as simple as get it fades out and it also warps to the side which is pretty cool so it says got it instead of get it that was today's video if you like this video give this video a huge thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and click on that bell icon because I post every Monday and Thursday